All right. Well, let's check in with Bethany right now. She's in Sacramento talking about tattoo removal. What is going on there, Bethany? Well, first of all, protective eyewear is essential. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on and let Dr. Calkin get back to work. I don't know if you heard me earlier. 45 million Americans are expected to have a tattoo in their lifetime, and 50% of those people will want that tattoo or a part of their tattoo removed. Uh, Leon, you've had your tattoo for 17 years. Why the removal today? Uh, the main reason is to make my wife happy. Uh, she sees it much more than I ever do, so uh, she's not a big fan of it. So a little little piece in the house is always a good thing. So this is the Italian flag, and I'm going to pull in Dr. Calkin here. Uh, what exactly are you doing with this? What's the laser doing? Well, the laser is actually. Um uh, basically exploding the ink, it's breaking up the ink into little particles so that your body's natural um, defenses can take it away. The ink as it stands in a normal tattoo is too large and globular for your body to do anything with. So when we laser it, it actually shatters the ink into little particles that are then taken away by your cells. Okay, Leon, what does it feel like to you? Uh, it feels just kind of like a snapping of the skin, um, if you imagine with like a rubber band. A uh, little bit of burning, but it's, it's very tolerable and once they pull it away, you don't feel any residual at all. Okay, so Dr. Boudreaux, I'm going to pull you in here real quickly. Uh, why are you seeing the tattoo removal business booming right now? Are more and more people are coming in wanting to have this done. Yeah, you know, the tattoo removal business is booming because the tattoo business is booming. And has, the tattoos have become a lot more popular in the last 15 to 17 years. Um, people who are making career changes no longer want tattoos that are visible to their employers. We also have a fair number of people uh, entering the military service that can't have tattoos that are visible, and they're wanting them off as well. How many sessions is Leon going to need for this little tiny, I mean, this is a small tattoo. You see people come in with huge tattoos. Um, the average is five to eight, and some tattoos that are large or especially dark may require up ten or more treatments. So this is a real commitment for someone who wants to come in and have the tattoo removed, not only financially, but also time-wise, because every time Leon comes in, he needs to put four to six weeks in between those treatments so that the skin can heal itself. And for this tattoo, it's $250 a session, so you can imagine if it was a larger tattoo. Uh, but it is interesting to take a look at the industry and how it's evolved. And even you say people come in and they want the tattoo removed to put another tattoo in its place. That seems crazy, but we have people that want that. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll have the information linked for you under the go button at fox40.com. If you want to come out and visit Calkin and Boudreaux uh, Dermatology Associates and have your tattoo perhaps removed. Hey, Bethany, I have a quick question. Does it leave a scar? Though? Let's say you don't want to put another tattoo. Does it leave a scar? What do you see? Well, this tattoo, I mean, in the process, you can see that the skin is lifted up and it is inflamed, but it will eventually go down. And depending on the kind of ink you have in your tattoo, it may leave a shadow behind. And it could potentially, you, you might even still see a faint outline of the tattoo, just depending on the type of ink and how big it is and the design work. Okay. And Bethany, not only is your eyewear protective, it is very stylish. Yes, it looks oh, good well, on you. Thank you. Great. Right. All right, uh, 619 <laughs> at Fox 40. Interesting story, uh, and, and, and I'm not surprising, as they said, with the boom in tattoos. Yes. It's going to be an increase in the number of people who are wanting to get rid of them. Darren Peck is checking your weather forecast. Uh, much different this morning than yesterday. Oh, much different. Lots